Bristle worms have the remarkable ability to gradually construct their bristles, serving as nature's own 3D printer. Greetings everyone. Today's video will delve into the fascinating research conducted by molecular biologist Florian Rabel and his team, who have made a groundbreaking discovery regarding the formation of bristles in bristle worms, such as Platinarius dumerili. These bristles are composed of a substance called beta kitten. Through their study published in Nature Communications, the researchers have unraveled the intricate process by which specialized cells known as catoblasts act as a sort of 3D printer, meticulously constructing the bristles piece by piece. Interestingly, the study highlights the crucial role played by microvilli on the catoblasts in the formation of chitin. This newfound understanding holds immense potential for advancements in the fields of medical products and biodegradable materials. And now, without any further delay, let us embark on our discussion. Bristle worms, like the marine annelid worm Platinares dumerilli, utilize kitten as their main construction material for both their exoskeleton and bristles. However, the chitin found in bristle worms, known as beta chitin, is slightly softer and holds great potential for biomedical applications. These bristles enable the worms to navigate through water. Despite its significance, the formation of distinct bristles from chitin has remained a mystery. Fortunately, a recent study sheds light on this intriguing process. Florian Rabel explains that the formation commences at the tip of the bristle, progresses to the middle section and concludes at the base. The completed sections are gradually extruded from the body, resulting in the sequential creation of functional units akin to the process of 3D printing. The potential for advancements in medical products and environmentally friendly materials lies in gaining a deeper comprehension of processes like the one mentioned. Presently, beta chitin extracted from the squid's dorsal shell serves as a raw material for creating wound dressings that are highly compatible with the human body. Looking ahead, there may be a possibility to utilize annelid cells in the production of this material as well, as suggested by Rabel. The underlying biological mechanism behind this phenomenon revolves around a crucial element known as catoblasts. These specialized cells, equipped with elongated surface structures called microvilli, possess a unique enzyme that has been proven by researchers to be accountable for the creation of chitin, the fundamental substance that forms the bristles. The findings of the study unveil a dynamic cell surface distinguished by meticulously arranged microvilli. The microvilli, akin to the nozzles found on a 3D printer, serve a similar purpose. Florian Rabel explains that the production of chitin is attributed to the individual microvilli within the chitoblast cell. The intricate transformation in the quantity and form of these microvilli is crucial in determining the geometric structures of the bristles. This includes the precise formation of individual teeth on the bristle tip, which exhibit remarkable accuracy at a sub-micrometer scale. The development of these bristles typically occurs within a mere two-day time frame, and their shape varies depending on the worm's stage of growth, resulting in shorter or longer, more pointed or flatter configurations. The collaboration between the University of Vienna and various institutions including the Vienna University of Technology, the University of Brno, and the Yokitalo Laboratory at the University of Helsinki, has proven to be highly advantageous for the researchers at the University of Vienna. The researchers at the University of Helsinki, with their expertise in serial block face scanning electron microscopy, SBF-SEM, played a crucial role in examining the arrangement of microvilli during the bristle formation process they were able to propose a comprehensive 3D model for the synthesis of bristle formation. According to Kyojiro Ikeda, the first author from the University of Vienna, the conventional method of electron tomography is extremely time-consuming, as it requires manual cutting of samples and examination in the electron microscope. However, with the SBF-SEM approach, the researchers can automate the analysis of thousands of layers, ensuring a more efficient and reliable process. At present, the Rabel Group is focused on enhancing the observation resolution to uncover additional intricacies regarding the development of bristles. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.